let's see more examples based on ll1 parsing table okay so let's see suppose the given grammar is like this b small b capital b a a epsilon b epsilon okay so suppose this is the given grammar and we have to construct ll1 parsing table okay so now <coughs> let's construct the ll1 parsing table so what we have to write all the terminals right so a small a small b and dollar will be the terminal and here i will write the variables so s a b are the variables in this grammar clear so now <coughs> okay so first of all for this production let's consider the first production which is a a a b okay now calculate uh, evaluate the first of s first of s is capital a that is first of a so first of a is epsilon so if we put epsilon here so it will vanish out and we can write it as small a a b so first of s is small a right so we can write this production in the column this in the column small a right so we will write this production here clear now consider the consider the second production which is b b b a but again calculate first of s that is first of b first of b is epsilon so just put it here epsilon it will vanish out and we can also assume it like this so first of s is small b that means we can write this production here in the column small b so it will be b b capital b small a clear now now consider the third third production which is a derives epsilon first of a is epsilon so whenever uh, while constructing ll1 parsing table whenever we are getting uh, directly epsilon in the first of right hand side then we have to calculate the follow of left hand side which is a right so follow of a is small a and follow of a is small b here follow of a is small a and here also follow of a is small b so it is a and b right so we have to write this production in a column and b column so it will be this clear now now take the last production which is b b generates epsilon again the first of b is epsilon so we have to calculate the follow of b here and what is the follow of b here follow of b is small b and follow of b is small a again so a and b are the follow of capital b here so we have to write this production in these columns well, we can write it like this b generates epsilon and b generates epsilon so we have written it in the a column and b column so this will be the parsing ll1 parsing table for the given grammar clear so and in and we have to see in every entry in every entry we are getting only one production right that means in this same cell we are not getting two productions we are getting only one production here in this cell we are getting one production here right so in every cell we are getting only one production here okay so we can say this grammar is ll1 grammar the grammar is ll1 clear so we have to check ll1 grammar in this way first we have to construct the passing table and then we have to see whether in a single cell whether in a single cell we are we getting more than one productions if yes then that will not be a ll1 grammar if we are getting only one production then for each cell we have to check all the cells so if we are getting only one production that means that grammar is ll1 grammar 
clear now let's see more examples based on this so let's take the another example suppose the given grammar is something like this epsilon okay so now let's construct the parsing table for this so a b and dollar are the terminals here and only s is the variable here clear now let's take the first production here a s b s so first of a i mean first of s is small a right so here in this uh, in the column a i can write s drives a s b s clear now let's take the second production first of s is b here small b here so i can write s drives b s a s in the column b now let's take the third production which is this so first of s is epsilon here so we have to calculate follow of s okay follow of s we have to calculate follow of s whenever there is epsilon in the first in the first of a variable then we have to calculate the follow of left hand side so follow of s we have to calculate so if you see carefully follow of s is b small b okay and follow of s is small a clear and here also s is there there is nothing after s so we have to calculate follow of s which is again the dollar so these will be the follow of s right so we have to fill this production in these columns clear so we have to write something like s epsilon s epsilon s epsilon right so now if you see if you carefully see this ll1 parsing table if you carefully see this ll1 parsing table you will observe that in a single cell in a single cell you are getting more than one production there are two productions in this cell and as well in, in this cell also there are two productions more than one productions is there so we have constructed element parsing table but we can say we can say that we can say that this is not ll1 grammar because multiple we are having multiple productions in the same cell okay so this is not ll1 sorry not ll1 grammar okay because we are having multiple productions in this single cell and this is also single cell we are getting more than one productions so this is not a ll1 grammar because multiple productions are in the same cell clear let's take more examples suppose we have something like a a b b b d epsilon okay so now uh, let me tell you the shortcut to find whether this grammar is ll1 or not okay so what we have to do is we have to find out first for every production find out first for every production so for this production first of uh, first of s is first of first of s is a small a here right first of s is small a right for the there are two productions here so we can write it like first of a is small c okay this is small c first of a is small c and for second production which is a generates epsilon we have to calculate follow of a follow of a is first of b first of b is d and if we put first of uh, b as epsilon so we will put epsilon here so first of a will be b clear now if we write this first of b is d and for this production we have to calculate follow of b follow of b is small b now carefully look this is single production so no worries now here there are two productions so we have to check for these two productions if there is something common in these two 
then that will and then that grammar is not ll1 grammar but there is nothing common in this here it is c here it is db okay nothing common so this is also fine and here it is also nothing is common here it is d here it is b so we can say that there is only one production in the cell no multiple productions are there so we can say that this grammar is ll1 grammar clear so in this way we can say this grammar is ll1 grammar because there is nothing common if we are getting something common that means we are, we have to write we have to write multiple productions in the same column right which we are which we were testing uh, while drawing ll1 parsing table so we don't have to draw ll1 parsing table to check whether grammar is ll1 or not we can use this shortcut and we can quickly find it out whether a grammar is ll1 or not clear so let's take few examples more in the next lecture